Hello, this is a short video describing how I use the combination of toggle, do, and workflow to track my time. Toggle is, for me, a web API that also has apps that I don't really use. Timers are controlled with a workflow action that is launched using do reminders and URL actions. Here I show you how to download the workflow. I already have it, so I have to replace it. You have to insert the API token, which is important since it links directly to your account. The next step is essential, since half of my hacks depend upon this being the same name as the workflow name. Make sure that is correct or else it will not work. After which, you will be able to use the, URL, the uh, workflow action. This is me launching the workflow action using do. Opening do, checking off the workflow action, launches the workflow action, which prompts you to, stops the timer, prompts you to select a project, and then gives a selection of descriptions that are dependent upon what has previously been selected and gives you the option to select, to insert a new name for the description. After which it creates a do timer and the process starts anew. This workflow is a heavily modified version of one published by one Federico Petici of Mac Stories. His website is wonderful for tech news, and he also has two podcasts that I personally follow. Connected, which is a podcast about app, uh, tech news, but specifically Apple in general, and then Canvas, an iOS podcast that he has with Frederick Spears. Of course, this is... Cortex is the most important part of my internet life. A podcast where two dudes, CGP Grey and Mike Curley, talk about their professional lives and many, many other things. Please listen to this podcast. First ep the most recent episode first, and then the rest of it if you enjoy it. I promise it's for your own good. Of course, I've made this workflow available on the screen in a bit.ly link and in the description as a workflow sharing link. Also, in the description, is a link to a Reddit thread where I will be available to answer any questions or complications that you have with this workflow. Thank you for watching.